Hey gang, it's JC, and this is your Daily Dose for Friday, November 19th, a cooperative venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. Archives top of the page, eye candy archives bottom of the page, Dave Murray's weather forecast, and the audio on iTunes down there. We stream online at ktrs.com, and also highlights over there too, and you can get us on your smartphone too, no application needed. We're just here. If you haven't heard, Trish Gazelle has joined the show. Yeah, like Trish is trash. Sure, Trish is on the show. She's producing and hanging out with us, and uh, she's there every day. And, of course, we have the carousel of co-hosts, including Smash, every Friday, and lots of other goodies. Eric Mink is back with us on Tuesday. We are just rolling on. I left all of my notes at the radio station, so anything I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you off the top of my head. And I'm just trying to remember everything, and I think that's pretty much it. So... There you go. Oh, by the way, I got a, uh, a thing here that uh, post Spatch wants me to get home delivery. I have enough comedy material any, you know, anyway, so, but if I ever need more comedy material or if I'm ever short on libelous lies from a woman with ingrown curly hair, which is disturbing her ability to think clearly or tell the truth... Or if I ever need uh, any material by hack journalists, uh, I'll be sure to give the Post-Dispatch a call as soon as can be. All right, the uh, St. Louis Cardinals are, um, well, I guess it's, it's a way of them not saying that they're raising ticket prices, even though they're raising ticket prices. What they're going to do is they're going to float ticket prices, which basically means that the more attractive the game, the more you're going to pay. So let's just say uh, a ticket normally would cost you $30. Okay, well now if it's a Cub Cardinal weekend, that ticket price might go up by a couple of bucks. And uh, if it's a big pitching matchup, even if it's Wainwright against uh, Halliday, um, you know, you're going to be paying more. What I find interesting is I don't hear anything about, like, when a really crappy team comes in, or a team that you have absolutely no interest in, like when the Detroit Tigers come in, and you're like, Really? No, nah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see the ticket price going down. Okay, I don't see, in other words, if the ticket price is normally 30 and they want to jack it up for a Cubs-Cardinals series to 45, but then when Detroit comes to town, how about it goes down to about 1250 See, but that ain't going to happen. So, more funny business with numbers. Yeah. How'd you like to be Eva Longoria? And you got tattoos all over your body from Tony Parker, including one... That we are told is, what did she say here? It is in a naughty place. A naughty place. It's only seen by him. I'm not saying where it is, but let's just say he gets to view it on a very regular basis. Um, well, I'm out of guesses already. Cher is dating the first man over 30 in her entire life outside of Sunny when she was married. Some uh, TV writer who's 52 in the new issue of Parade Magazine, which gets stuffed in your newspaper on Sunday. Oh, uh, there you go. Stuck with the newspaper again. I wouldn't bother. I'll just tell you everything. Rather than actually have to buy a piece of shit post-dispatch, uh, I'll tell you the story right now. She boinked Tom Cruise, Warren Beatty, Val Kilmer, and Richie Sambora. Well, just good for her. Tiger Woods says he still feels pain in his soul. I would think that the pain would come when he tries to urinate, but that's just me. Donald Trump thinking about running for president. He says the Chinese are laughing at us. Are you sure they're just not laughing at your hair? CBS has canceled Patricia Arquette, the series Medium. Of course, the show is called Medium, but if you've seen her recently, the show should be called Extra Large. Drew Carey's old show. Whose line is it anyway? It's going to come back. Uh, under a different name on the Game Show Network, so that could be fun. A French study finds that women whose first names end in the letter A get it on with an average of 4.4 more sexual partners than women whose names end with other letters. The theory is that names that end in other letters are more traditional, so girls with those names grow up in households that are more strict. That's just crazy. Uh, a couple in Minnesota. <laughs> this is how ridiculous things have gotten on the web. A couple of Minnesota has put up a website called birthornot.com, birthornot.com, where you can vote on whether or not they should terminate their pregnancy. The deadline is December 7th. Of the 50,000 people who have bothered to get on this thing, 81% have told them to keep the baby. We're going to have an interesting discussion on the showgram on KTRS today 
about this uh, new study that came out from the Pew Research Center along with Time Magazine. Two out of five Americans say marriage is becoming obsolete and the numbers are absolutely staggering. We'll get into that on the air, but it's, it's a really, really interesting uh, study that they did. Hotels. Hotels are saying that business picks up on Thanksgiving night. Now, when I heard this, I was like, okay, what, uh, big family arguments? So people who were supposed to stay in your house for the Thanksgiving weekend end up having to get a hotel? That's not it. People want a room close to the stores they're going to be shopping at on Black Friday. Jesus, here we go. And, and isn't it interesting that these stores all advertise these things called door busters? And then the rush of people trying to get it is so bad that people get like pushed through a plate glass window and everybody seems just absolutely shocked that somebody actually busted the door. What does the public really know about the news? Well, 88% knew that BP ran the oil well that leaked, but only 46% know that the GOP just took control of the House. <laughs> Larry King hits the big 7-7 today. Nah, that's not years, that's wives. Um, there's, a, there's, a, <laughs> there's a new Farrah Fawcett Barbie. Of course, you didn't know about that because uh, news of the Michael Jackson Barbie has just come out. Um... <laughs> I just, I'm taking a breather. <laughs> Thanksgiving falls on the 25th. But men, a lot of men, a lot of sick men, a lot of perverts are actually going to be giving thanks not on the 25th, but on the 23rd. That's when Miley Cyrus turns 18. <laughs> I was trying to decide if I was going to do that or not. <laughs> All right, birthdays today include Jody Foster, who's uh, 48 years old, Ted Turner, 72, Bo Derek, birthday number 54, tomorrow, Saturday, Joe Walsh, 63, and our buddy Super Dave Osborne turns 70. Sunday birthdays include Troy Aikman, who will probably spend his day with Joe Buck in a booth doing a football game somewhere, and our buddy Harold Ramis turns 66, and Stan the Man Usual is 90 on Sunday. <laughs> oh, by the way, one last note. We got into a pretty uh, good discussion on the air yesterday about the TSA, you know, and this business of pat-downs and these x-ray machines that, you know, can tell whether or not you're circumcised, you know. The Israelis are developing an airport security device that eliminates the privacy concerns that come with full-body scanners at the airports. It's a booth that you step into. It won't. It's not going to x-ray you. Uh, but it will detonate any explosive device you may have on you. I'm trying to figure out if this is real or not. I'm trying to decide if I've been had. Uh, we're going to update our video village and also all that stuff. Oh, the eye candy feature today. Yeah, because we always update things on Monday, uh, the video village and the Wayback Machine, and those features have been running all week. We'll have new stuff for you on Monday. But uh, the, the uh, eye candy today, earlier this week, we ran some, uh, <laughs> some video of this dog that's just unbelievably talented. And, and today we're running a video of a dumb cat. So it's the best you can do on a Friday. All right, that's it. JC's Daily Dose for Friday, November 19th, 2010, a cooperative venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll talk to you on Monday. In the meantime, we've beaten this one to death. Have a good one. See you later. Bye. Bye.